Hello and welcome to a special interview. Is the UPA government weak on terror or is that an unfair perception? That's the issue I should explore today with the Minister of Science and Technology, Kapil Sibyl. Mr. Sibyl, there's a widespread belief that the UPA has failed to rise up to the challenge of terror. What can you say that convinces people that you're on top of the job? Well, uh, let me respond to it in two ways. I don't think that uh, governments in the last 10, 15 years um, have built up the necessary institutional frameworks to deal with terror. Uh, I think we've been concentrating too much on laws, and laws are uh, fine to deal with terrorists, but not necessarily with terror. So you're saying the political system as a whole yes. has failed to well, I develop think, uh, institutions? Yes. Yeah, I think we need a very strong, like, i give you an example. For example, we need a joint intelligence institutional mechanism which allows flow of information. Let, from let's the, come to details in a moment. You're saying at to begin with that the whole institutional political system has failed to live up to the challenge of terror. Well, I, I think so, yes. And I, you know, I, and, and there is an uh, admittedly an intelligence gap, and I think that intelligence systems have failed. Uh, Cargill happened; nobody knew that p people had come into our country. Parliament was attacked. Recent attacks tell us. There's so, no so doubt obviously, there is a uh, track record of Indian governments failing. But for the last four and a half years, your government has been in charge, and people turn around and say that the UPA has let us down. Well, quite frankly, if you really start looking at facts and numbers, the record of the UPA government in terms of terror has been much better than the previous government. There have been more civilian deaths in the previous government from 1999 to 2003, over 4,000 deaths. In our regime, there have been 1,670 deaths. Maybe the deaths so therefore, were greater No, earlier. no, even otherwise, incidents. Number of incidents of terror have been much more when, 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 the, when the law Purush was in power. But the sense of panic and the sense of fear today, tens, maybe hundreds of millions yes. of urban Indians feel you, vulnerable I and scared. You, I tell you that's because there is more cities have been attacked uh, of late than were done in the past. And repeatedly and day after day. That's correct. So therefore, do we have to actually mobilize ourselves, make sure that those institutions are in place to deal. It's a very serious issue and we have to deal with it seriously. Let's look at the response of the UPA government. People say that in terms of leadership, in terms of dynamism, in terms of having the people's trust, the UPA has lost it over the issue of terror. Well, I don't agree with you. I think terror must be met with institutional strengthening institutional frameworks. Individuals don't matter when you deal with it. It's the, it's the intelligence network on the ground. It's the, inter, inter, the flow of information on the ground. It is, it is setting up systems in place at the center which actually uh, deal with the state government. I accept all of that, but when things are perceived by the public in such a big way to have gone wrong, then it's time for someone oh, no. to accept moral responsibility. No, let, me, let, me, let me finish. Do you think a time has come for the Home Minister, with the greater good of the government in mind, to voluntarily step aside. I do not think we should personalize this debate. I do not think but the so. People I think people are looking no, for I some sense of moral you know, ownership. You know why? You did the did Advani resign when a parliament was attacked? What about Krishna Menon did, in '62? He did. It's all right. He did in '62. Don't but, you think that I sort mean, of occasion I, I, has come again? Well, did did uh, you know any president of the United States or prime minister resign when London was attacked? I mean, but, so let's in Spain did did the president resign? When, 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 when Spanish is so there's no were call for so let's, Shivraj let, Party to this, accept moral responsibility. These are knee-jerk reactions. We need to strengthen our institutions. That's what we need. All right, let's come then to a whole range of ideas that have been canvassed as ways in which the UPA can strengthen its response to terror. To begin with, people are suggesting that you need a minister of state for internal security. Do you think that would be a good idea? Well, you know, first of all. It's the Prime Minister's prerogative how he organizes his government. It's for the Prime Minister to decide who he wants, who he doesn't want. I don't think I can comment on it. I don't think I should comment on it. I certainly should not comment on public perception. But except that when a Home Minister is perceived to be weak, there's a need for a strong man below well, him to back him up. Well, that know, would give people as I, confidence. As I said, governments can't be run on public perceptions. Oh, governments should governments be run fall on, on public perceptions. It's, it's fine. You the, won't get re-elected if the public perception is against it's you. It's true, but uh, for individuals I'm talking about. And pub I governments you must are talk, You are asking me a question on an individual. I'm sidestepping his resignation. I'm saying now back him up and strengthen him by giving him a Minister of Internal Security. Well, that's not for the public to decide, unfortunately. Karan. Except that, it's the Prime Minister's except prerogative. That if there's a confidence gap between the government and the well, public, this could plug it. It's entirely for the Prime Minister to decide. All right, let's take a second issue that's been canvassed and discussed. People are saying that India needs a federal level agency that can work nationwide, not just to investigate, but possibly also to prosecute terrorist crimes. 
Would you couple civil be in favor of that? Well, quite frankly, uh, we perhaps need a federal level agency, but in the, in the federal structure that we have and the kind of politics that we have, will we get a federal level agency? I doubt it very well, much. Well, you're questioning the fact that the laws can't be passed or the Constitution doesn't permit it? No, or the Constitution will permit it, provided the states agree. Well, surely you could, in fact, enforce this on the basis of the Karthar Singh judgment passed by the Supreme I Court in 94. That. You're talking about entry 8 of list 1. Precisely. Right, it can be done, but I don't think, you know, there'll be a lot of political... We are in a coalition era. There are lots of political parties in Let part me put of the it coalition. Like this. The BJP has publicly declared that they too are in favor of this. El Kedwani said he's in favor of it. Arun Jaitley said he's the in favor of it. Minister, Narendra Modi said he's in favor of it. Reach out to them. We have Prime Minister has also so said... So reach out to them. Let's look at it. So all this will be examined, and this is part of the recommendation recommendations also of, uh, well, I think the Moili Committee has not recommended a federal agency, but it's certainly part of the, uh, of the note of the, of the Home you Minister see, I'll that tell this, you the, this is also going I'll to be I'll tell you at. the problem with the answer you're giving me. On the one hand, the Prime Minister says, and you say that you yourself are in favor of a federal agency. On the other hand, you seem to only see problems in bringing it about, and you don't seem to be that keen to reach out to the no, BJP no, no, who can at help the moment, you. At the moment, I think what we need to do is to set up strong institutional framework. We should work on a federal agency. It's not going to come about tomorrow. There's going to be elections now in the next six months or so or seven months or so. So we should strengthen our systems, start talking to governments as to what best procedures we can set up to deal with terror, so you're saying including very, this. You're saying a very important thing. Work on a federal agency, but it's not going to happen tomorrow and it's not going to happen before the next elections. Exactly. So it's something that we need to work on, think about, debate, and if we think this is the best way out, maybe do it. And when you talk or about maybe, or maybe, or maybe, uh, you know, allow the CBI larger powers by amending the Delhi Special Police Establishment Act. That's another way but out you see, instead of a federal agency. But you see, when you say this is something we should think about and debate, and those were your precise words, you're also suggesting that it may never happen. No, no, no. In, thing, in no, India, when things are debated, are, they usually get postponed. These are real recommendations on the table, for example, should we amend the Delhi Spe Special Police Establishment Act, expand its powers exp and make it more independent, or should we go for a federal agency? These are, these are issues that, and CBI is How a federal agency. How long will it take this government to make up its mind? Because there is a perceived sense of crisis in the country. The country wants an answer quickly, it's, but it's, you're talking about you know, a debate, you know, postponing is, it beyond the this election. Is, this is not something that you put a litmus paper in a solution and you get the, get is the result. Is there no sense of hurry there is or an, urgency? There is an enormous sense of hurry. Why do you think we are having meetings? Why do you think there are discussions? Why do you think... But you're the saying the decision committed? could happen but after this, the election. I That's didn't six say, months, I seven said months. that that process, we must start a process. Things don't happen without a process. All right. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. So the I, process... I strongly believe that, that you can't take a... Something happens today, we shouldn't take a decision tomorrow. Merely because something has happened yesterday. Do you think yesterday. this answer that you're giving me, that we need to start a process, the process could go on it's, for six months, is going to reassure people? Absolutely, it'll reassure people. If we show milestones, if we show that this is what we are doing, and we've already done you're it, incident, very you, probably, you probably don't know that on the issue of how to deal with terror, special group of ministers have been sitting, recommendations have already been made. We've already decided to set up institutions. This has already been done. Except now that this we need to implement. Now may not we need to at all. Or no, may not this is, after it the has already been decided. For example, What's a multi-agency, a multi-agency center, where all the agencies, the IB, RANW, and and the Delhi Police Establishment, is already set up. Now we need to actually operationalize it. Joint Intelligence Task Force. This is what this government has done. You're saying that we don't think about it. Joint Intelligence Task Force. Get the IB, get the RAW all together in one agency. Those have been set yes, up? Yes, yes. And, and they're functioning? Yes, yes. So what you're saying, let me interrupt, because yeah, yeah. I think this is important for the audience. Certain things have happened. Yes. A Joint Intelligence Task Force, a multi-dimensional center that you're talking about. These have happened. They have begun functioning. Yes. But the federal agency is something you're still debating, exactly. discussing, that and is, that may not happen until after the election. Exactly. Okay. There are many things that are happening. We have, in fact, empowered the police. Let's then come to something else that's of importance. It's a recommendation made by the Administrative Reforms Commission. It's attracted a lot of attention. The Reforms Commission has said that India needs a comprehensive and effective legal framework to deal with all aspects of terrorism. In other words, it needs a new set of laws. Are you in favor of new laws? Well, first of all, this is the Administrative Reforms Commission recommendation. There is already a special group that is sitting to examine each of those recommendations. I am part of that group. We've been meeting from time to time, and these decisions are very, going to soon, very soon going to be taken. Let me quote to you what the Prime Minister said, because the Prime Minister has said, we are actively considering legislation to further strengthen the substantive anti-terrorism law. Unfortunately, Priya Ranandas Munshi has gone public and said that India doesn't need new no, laws. No, no. Our laws are sufficient. Again, you are misinterpreting Das Munshi, my, my, my Everyone colleague. Everyone heard him. He was no, on no, television. He said we don't want POTA. 
incident. What he said was, we don't want POTA, but there are other areas within the law to you, okay. that need strengthening. Maybe you're saying that I'm misinterpreting Priya Das Munshi. I think I'm not, but leave that aside. Your own Home Minister on the 10th of August to this program said, my position is this, we already have laws, our existing laws should be used, they are sufficient. Now the Prime Minister is talking about something else again. Incidentally, in 40 it, days, the I government believe, has changed I its believe mind. the existing laws perhaps are the harshest laws anywhere in the world, but some new elements can be added on to those laws. And those elements can be certainly looked at Which means at by that the, the Home Minister, when he says existing laws are sufficient, was wrong. No, no, I don't know what, what when he made that statement. 10th of August. Well, well he, he, that probably is his view at this point in time. You mean in 40 days but the, the same, government's position the same has changed? Time, it, at the same time, the Home Minister has also publicly said that if the laws are required to be strengthened, they will but be strengthened. But this is why people get perplexed and disheartened because the Law Minister in 40 days, the Prime Minister and the Law Minister within a period of 40 you know, days you know, say contradictory you know, things about whether laws you know, need to again, be strengthened again, or not. Again, Karan, what you do is you take one statement here, one statement But how else do we go? Should we not go by your statements? No, no. I didn't say that you shouldn't go by my statements, but you know, see, uh, situations evolve, situations change. In 14 and days they've evolved? Why, why can't? The, the Delhi blast happened just the other day, no? You are crying about, you must change Except the law the overnight. BJP Haven't for, the situation for, changed? The BJP for three years has been saying your laws are insufficient. No, the BJP has been talking about today. POTA. I'm sorry, I don't agree with you. BJP has been talking about POTA and we have rejected that. Well, let's, and we reject it let's, even today. Let's come we to don't want POTA be really in, in, uh, an instrument in the hands of Narendra Modi except for the to fact, target communities. Except for the fact that some of the recommendations of the Administrative Laws Commission come very close to... Not at all. Well, Not let, at let, all. let me put three all to you right, and right. ask you please, how you react please, to them. Please, please. First of all, the Administrative Reforms Commission is talking about strengthening and toughening bail provisions and detention. Are you in favour of that? First of all, he's not said so. If you look at the Administrative Reforms Commission... I have, I've said yeah, it. He there. says unless the police reforms take place, no, uh, the same provision of bail should continue. But when they do, okay. he's talking about a strengthening. I'm sorry, that's he what is. he said. This bail he's provision He's talking should... about a strengthening no, no, he on has... the basis that police reforms ah, take place. So, so those when police, police should... reforms take place... But they're in your is... hands to do. Why? For the last 60 years, police reforms have not happened. There's no reason they should why have they happened. still can't... They should have happened. Okay. When you have an independent what about... police agency and you have trust in that agency, all this can happen. And that's what the reforms... What about something else? So don't say that no, the reforms... Hang on a moment. He has said it. You're simply adding a Provisor, no, not and that provisor. Provisor is said, in your hands to settle, but you don't want to handle it. He said it is not to be implemented. He has said it's not to be implemented. Let me put this to you. The strongest recommendation from Virapa Moili is, in fact, that confessions to police should be accepted as evidence. Are you prepared to go down that road? Well, no, he has not said that. He again. has? No. He has? Again, he said, unless there is reforms. No, he hasn't said unless there's yes, reforms. Yes, no, yes. he hasn't said unless there's reforms. Please show me. I don't have it over here. I have it. You don't have it with you either. I, I can what get it for you. If you give me a minute, I'll get it for What he has said very clearly is that the confessions made under the law to the police should be accepted as evidence. And he is saying specifically that they do not have to be confessions made to magistrates. No, 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 no. He has said just the contrary. No, he, he hasn't. Uh, may I? I will show it to you because since in this interview I cannot because I have the book with me. What he has said is at the moment confessions to the police should not be accepted unless the entire police system is reformed and confessions only to a magistrate should be accepted. That's what he has said. And I will show it to you if you want. All right. Let's, for argument's sake, since we can't prove it the other way around in the middle of an interview, you accept your interpretation. The ability to implement police reforms is in your hands. Do that and toughen well, the laws. Again, it's in the state government's hands as well. Police reforms is not something that we can do but at you the can federal start level. And set the ball it's rolling. the state sub. We have tried it many years. So what you're indicating? The state chief ministers do not want. So the what you're indicating to me in this interview is that on a series of issues where you've got substantive recommendations from the Administrative Reforms Commission, you're going to find technical reasons which are actually in your hands I'm to tackle, surprised you not say to that. go ahead. The opposition of a chief minister is technical, Karan, according to you? But the system yeah. of police reforms can be instituted by you. It cannot be unless because it's a state subject. You know that. Law but you can order begin and initiate the procedure. We have initiated it not once but several times and it's continuing. We want those reforms. But the state chief ministers do not want it and you know it. All right, let's take a break and let's come back and ask you a simple question. Do you really believe that the people of India today who feel vulnerable and scared of terrorism and bombs will be reassured by what you said? Or have you in a strange way reinforced their doubt that this is a government that talks big but does oh very little? We'll be back in a moment's time. See you after the break. Welcome back to a special interview with the Minister of Science and Technology, Kapil Sibyl. Kapil Sibyl, people are looking to the government today for a sense of assurance, for a sense of leadership, for a sense of determination. 
What they've heard from you is that you're considering a lot of things, but you can't say when the decision well, will know, be taken. Current, and you come up with a lot current, of technical reasons current, why things that have been recommended well, can't be done. Well, let, is this really reassuring? Let me respond to you in three ways. Number one, I don't think government declares its policies because, what, because of what happened yesterday. And certainly the government doesn't tell the public of its policies because there's an interview going on on the electronic media. And that because I cannot give you an answer as to when it's going to happen tomorrow or day after, it shows that the government is not serious. I think that's very unfair. The government is exceptionally serious. In fact, what happened yesterday shows the determination of the government. That immediately after this, people were caught, people were killed, a nexus was broken. This has never happened Let in the past. Let me put it like this. I accept that you can't tell people on television cameras what you're going to do, and certainly the government can't announce it within 24 hours. But the government can indicate its resolve and determination by speaking in one voice. That one clear crystal it's voice not, is not it, being it, heard. It, uh, Karan, can anybody speak in one voice on an issue that on, on which everybody has different voices? The That's whole, the problem. The country, Everyone has different even, voices uh, in the cabinet. The whole country. In the whole country. Which? The BJP has... Uh, uh, we repealed POTA. Are you, One second. Are you so One representative second. of One, India no, that no, all the not, divisions it's, it's in the not, country it, are reflected in your show, cabinet? It only shows it's an issue which requires careful thinking. There can be no on issues like this. For example, POTA. At the moment, if, supposing it shows we were it's to, an issue on which there's no agreement We the went cabinet. to the previous government on POTA. Previous election on POTA, we won that election. POTA was repealed. Why? Because of the kind of atrocities that were committed and with ta and targeting communities, merely because, merely, uh, merely because today some incidents have taken place, which is far less than during the NDA regime. That is the only reason but we should reimpose POTA. I, ref I refute it. Left I refute it strongly. The Administrative Reforms Commission may not be going back to Porter, but it is strengthening the laws to make up for but the fact that today ha, the government is perceived to be Have we said weak? that we are not strengthening the law? That's what he said. That's what the Prime Minister said, that we are looking at all this. But looking at all does, doesn't mean that we'll decide it tomorrow. Careful consideration has to be given to these things. Governments are not run by saying oh, by knee-jerk reactions that something happened yesterday, therefore this must be brought in today. I'm All sorry. Right. It I doesn't accept that. Like Let that. me put to you something that will occur to the audience listening to this program. They'll say, it may take the government a month, it may take it two months. But they have to set a deadline by which time they'll do it. Is Absolutely. it open-ended? Before the end of the term of this government, it shall be put in place. But that's six months. Why? How many months do you want us to? I should say to you, 15 days. But the problem is when I when say you, before, it can you, be one month, it can be one and a half months, it can be less than two months. But I'll tell you what the problem is: when you get to the end of the term of this government, you won't be in a you position to do anything. You know very well at anything. the end of the term, it can't you happen. Won't be in a position to Therefore, do I said that once the notification is issued, it can't happen. So obviously, it's before the notification that all this will happen. And what if, God forbid, there are more terror incidents as they easily could be, as the well, National you know, Security Karan, Advisor Karan, suggested they may be? Stop the sense of panic in the country could terror? grow. Then anybody stop terror? Terrorists choose their time and place. Did you were you able to stop attack on the Legislative Assembly on Akshar Dham? Were you able to stop all that? But were you, you able to stop able the to attack on Red Fort? Were you able to stack the uh, on Kalucha? But are you able on to reassure Ragunath the Temple? country? Are you doing on enough? Ragunath Temple? But are you doing enough to reassure well, the country? This is why we need to build institutions. This is why we need, and that's not going to happen overnight. Also, you think the America is My the most question. powerful nation? My in last question. Let me answer. America is the most powerful nation in the world. It has all the technology. Can they stop? Can they stop American soldiers My being killed question. in Iraq? My last question. This is not. Have Iraq. they stopped My American last soldiers question. being killed in Iraq? Do you think you've left it too late to build institutions? I am sorry. You no. Started three, four I, years ago. This has been doing. All this doesn't happen open overnight. What I have told you. This, these institutions have been set up not overnight. All right, Captain Civil. I leave the last word with you. A pleasure talking to you. Thank you.